Hey, it's Dr. Adam Nally coming to you um, here on Instagram just to touch base. I've had a number of people actually email me or text me and they're all freaked out about the fact that if they go on a ketogenic diet, is their pancreas going to shut down? Um, I think this all stems from an article that was recently published um, in the, uh, I think it was the Journal of uh, Physiology um, back a, a couple months ago, uh, stating that in a mouse model, uh, when they put m mice that were 12 weeks old on a ketogenic diet for 12 weeks, that at within three days, it actually caused increased insulin resistance. Um, that freaked everybody out and made everybody worry that, hey, if you're on this ketogenic diet, is that gonna cause me to have permanent in type two diabetes or insulin resistance? And the answer is not that we've seen clinically, for, at least I, not that I've seen clinically for 15 years, um, and the pancreas in a human returns to normal function. One of the reasons I think this may be the case is that um, mice have three times um, uh, what's called a carboxyl esterase enzyme than in their liver and adipose tissue and intestines than humans do. And essentially what that means is that um, in the fat cells, it, when you give a mouse an increased amount of, of fat, and they're not used to this high load of fat because they're, they're essentially um, herbivores, they eat more, more grains and things of that nature. Um, when you give them higher loads of fat, it act, they get three times the um, expression of tumor necrosis factor alpha or leukin 6 which actually suppresses insulin which is not surprising to see that a mouse is going to have three times the suppression of of insulin sensitivity uh, in a high carb diet um, I know a lot of people freaked out even some prominent keto people are going oh maybe we need more carbs um, the answer in humans is you can't compare mice metabolism of high fat diets to um, human metabolism of high-fat diets because of this dramatically different expression of uh, CES1 uh, and CES2, which are these are carboxylesterase enzymes expressed in the liver, adipose tissue, and, 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 uh, and, and intestines. Um, so, uh, um, in, in, and even making a correlation with that is a stretch according to the folks that wrote this article in the Journal of Physiology um, back in, uh, let me just look real quickly, I think it's it was in... Uh, it was this year, it was August of 2018, and so just, you know, about eight, eight nine months ago. So, but I, I'm still getting a lot of feedback from people saying, well, is it bad? Am I going to, you know, permanently stop my ability to produce insulin? Um, and the answer, as far as we know at this point, is no. And um, again, you're, you're comparing a mouse as a, a mouse's ability to metabolize fat to a human's ability to metabolize fat. And yes, we're both mammals, but there's a notably different um, primary food source that a mouse uses versus a human. Um, I'm still gonna eat my bacon. I don't care. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Bye-bye.